Um, I don't know. It's just uh, kind of honoring all of us. Uh, we got a pretty special group. I know me, Shug, and Jada. I think we're like the first class in a while that's made it all the way around and stayed for four years. So I think that's a blessing. Um, but it's going to be a tough one, you know. We got to part ways soon, but um, I think we'll enjoy it and make the most of it and just try to get a win against Oklahoma State on Sunday. Is it settled in that, okay, this, this is going to be the last game of the year when it's entering that? few weeks, you know, I'm never going to be you know, playing alongside, you know, Shug and Jay that have been with me the last four years. Has that settled in yet, or is that something you're just trying to, I'm not thinking about it until it, until it happens? Yeah, I think I don't, I don't really know. Like, even in high school, when I played my last game at Cedar Hill, I didn't really, like, feel it until, I guess, like, a couple weeks after, but um, I don't know. Um, I don't think it's really, like, hit me yet that we're not going to be playing at Irwin Center anymore. I think it's, like, we'll still be playing together, so I think that's okay. But um, just not playing at Iowa Center, I don't know, because we're still going to practice there. So it's kind of like, I guess it'll just have to hit me when I leave. I don't know. Not right now, though. It's kind of a unique situation. You know, Sunday is so busy because in addition to senior day, you'll have a pretty big game, and Clarissa's jersey is getting retired. Um, since you wear that number now, what are your kind of thoughts about that jersey going up? But it, you know, going up for a legend, and you still kind of carrying on that tradition and all, all of that. I mean, I'm really honored to wear the number. Um, Clarissa Davis. I had a chance to speak with her um, kind of around this time last year. We did a project with Coach um, just to see like the people that born your number um, over the years, and so I had a chance to speak with her and stuff. And she's an amazing woman, you know. And the legacy she's left here, we're just trying to all carry it on. I know um, Ariel wore it before I got here, and then she passed it down to me. So you know, just really good people that have worn a great number, and just trying to continue the legacy. But. Um, I hope she enjoys her day. Um, it'll be a big day, a lot of busy events, but um, we'll make it real possible for her to have a great day. With, with that number going up and obviously your love for Kobe, mm -hmm. did you feel any extra pressure that, you know, I got a ball out, I'm wearing this, this number means a lot to a lot mm -hmm. of different people? Yeah, I think, um, I, don't, I wouldn't say extra pressure on myself, but I know the number is significant in so many ways, you know, and in high school I was number two, so um, I don't know, just trying to live out the moment each and every day, I know, um, with the whole Kobe Bryant situation and stuff, I know a lot of people um, have dedicated, like, you know, different things, but um, I've been wearing this number for a while. And, um, it's just a really special number to me and to my family. And, you know, so just trying to live on a legacy. I know she's left a really, a really big legacy here um, as, as herself. So, you know, just trying to do that. No, see, so you three have been close, um, mm -hmm. but you guys added two seniors and mm -hmm. LaShawn and Sophie this year. How have you guys kind of added those two to your group? and? It was me to be going out with them too on Sunday. I wouldn't necessarily say we added LaShawn. I think we've been having LaShawn. I think we had I would say we had Sophie um just because she came in the middle of the year. But um LaShawn has been a big piece for us, you know, a real vital person for us this year. Um with LaShawn coming back, um it was a blessing in disguise. Um I know she's probably like um probably tired of college because she's been here for five years, but um I think she's been a part of our group and she's just made us better each and every day. You know, she's older than us, so she always has she has kind of older spirit and she knows what to say and when to say certain things. Um and as for Sophie I don't know, just her presence and everything. I mean, she works hard day in and day out, and she doesn't really have to, you know, because, I mean, like, she wasn't recruited to be on the team and whatnot. So coming in and, like, just her working hard and stuff like that, it just shows, like, just her character and her mentality and how she approaches the game each and every day, and we love that from her. Um, just her energy and everything that she brings for us on and off the court. So I appreciate them both. What do you think you'll take most from your last four years here as you move on? Um, I think, like I said in the interview with Ariel a couple of days, I think just finding the person that I am. And when you come to college, you try to find yourself. And I think I've done just that. Um, I just have grown into my personality and grown into the person that I want to be and the woman that I want to be when I leave this campus. And so I think just trying to find yourself and stay in the moment and live in the moment as much as you can. And just know that I know when I first got here, people used to tell me like it was going to go so fast and I didn't really believe it because I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm away from home and, you know, I got four years, but it's flown by and um, I'm going to miss it all. But just trying to cherish the moment and stay in the moment as much as I can. Jada said she's going to cry on mm -hmm. Sunday and she thinks she might cry, but she said you may be able to hold it in. Are you going to cry? Do you think you'll be a crier on Sunday? I'll probably cry on Sunday, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of hard for me to even, like, we wrote a note to ourselves and y'all will hear it on Sunday, but... I mean, it wasn't hard for me to read it, but I know, like, hearing it and seeing everybody's faces and stuff, it'll probably be a real surreal moment. So, I mean, even Coach talked about it in the locker room last night after we lost, but um, I cried then a little bit. But, I don't know, I'm just – I want to get a win first before we shed tears. So, that's my big thing right now.